I've gone this direction with the brush. Now I'm going to go this way to make sure that I actually get everything wet. I'm pretty sure you didn't. Yeah. Why didn't you say so? <laughs> He's letting when you it say matter. Well, it matters. I'll do it this time. And then the All mistake right, so. I made is um, the paper tend to be warped a little bit. Right. So. All right. Oh. So um, I am going to. Remember, this is all on video. <laughs> Guess you can't use it. Can't you? <laughs> all right. I am going to say this is needs a bit more stirring. I see pieces. See who did that? <laughs> video, video. Shh, don't you say the name. No, no. Steve. <laughs> I don't know it's Steve. Uh, my name is Mark. <laughs> he would do this too, so you know. <laughs> I can't trust you guys. Well, that's just the way we were all doing. Okay. No, oh, that's going to happen. All right, so using Steve's method. <laughs> yeah, right. This is a real technical I'm, term. Well, no, I, it, there's a reason for this, because what I was seeing is pieces being overworked. Mm -hmm. And so um, the way to not overwork them is to start with not using the brush. I'm good at that. <laughs> what, not using the brush? Yes. <laughs> All right. Oh, that's, most that's a scale. Now, now that oh, I have that's the paint down here, I'm going to, actually, we're going to do this. Again, the idea of not using the brush. Wow. I want this to flow. So you don't move the board to make it flow on the Not water yet. that's down already. I mean, it you yeah, right. Um, all right, this is probably a little thick. But too thick is better than too thin. I can always add right, water. Too thin is no way you can. Uh... All right, now let's see what we get. Now, as you all know, since you've been playing with this, there's no guarantee of anything. Now see, this is probably thicker than what a lot of you did already. Okay. Now what I'm using the brush for at this point is to make sure that I get actually all the corners. All right, I'm not trying to carefully place this. What I am trying to do is to make sure that it starts to spread out and that I've got all of my edges because that was the other thing I was seeing. Mm. There's a way to make a mess, I will. Um, actually, not do a lot with the white yet. All right, now let's see what happens. Do one third, or one third, or one third. Well, that's where we start. Mm -hmm. Where we end up, who knows? <laughs> <laughs> I love a good mystery, don't you? <laughs> All right. So what I'm wanting to happen is for these colors. So the white is my barrier yeah. color, if you will, and I'm wanting the colors to transition over, and I want more blue in here because it seems to have. So this was probably a little thick. So I can resolve that easily. What 
which I've just done when adding the space. Now let's keep moving. And if you don't want paint on your hands, wear gloves. <laughs> so things are starting to happen in here that yeah. I think are kind but of interesting. But you're not tipping it the other way. I'm tipping it back and forth right now. I may be tipping it this way at this at some point. I'm kind of so I'm not tipping it totally one way or the other right now. I'm trying to get it to start to mix here rather than pouring it off. Does that make sense? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right? Because if you tip it one way or the other too too hard, it's going to pour right off. And then the edges it's creating. Right. So I want that kind of tendril stuff. So while this is all moving, since I did this on the one that we're working from, which so with this being our original thought. That's right? gorgeous. Right. So this I'm trying to use the same technique mm -hmm. on this board. So we'll add some of this stuff that didn't really move all that well. And what is this? It's uh, an ink, uh, India ink. Kind of, well, maybe it's India ink, I don't know. Yeah, that's what it says. It's a calligraphy ink. So it is not water soluble, so it's going to sit on top. But you see that it's creating its own little textures. Mm -hmm. And I want to do it at this point because I still want it to integrate. Even though it's not water soluble, I want it to move. Mm -hmm. I don't want just this thing sitting here at the end of the day. So let's see how it moves. I like that it's particulating and kind mm -hmm. of doing like mm. um, yeah. dendrites with it. Not that purple white and. And I think this is not what people were doing on Tuesday. No, I don't. Think, I didn't do that. I think this is definitely a big difference. I mean, <laughs> definitely not what we were doing on Tuesday. <laughs> All right. So now I'm seeing this is a little thin. So I'm actually going to add a little bit more color in here. Because you're seeing the board through. Right. It. Now, it may be appropriate to see the board at some point, but I'm not ready to see this much of it yet. Okay. So I'm going to add a little more color. So that's the other thing. Don't be afraid to use the color. Okay, so now if I do this, you can see I'm getting more movement the other way. Now there's things happening all over. Now I'm going to continue to see what I'm going to get. I'm actually kind of liking it. It's not mm -hmm. done yet, but I'm liking it. It is. It's beautiful. I'm loving this kind of yeah. uh, swoosh. Swirling. Now I'm actually going to do a rotation because I might It's not water soluble, but it does move with water. Mm -hmm. I see it breaking up. Mm -hmm. right, so then it starts to look like a uh, gold leaf. Yeah. And I don't know. Let's see if it'll give us something more. So I actually think I want a little more down there. Yeah. <clears throat> and this isn't going to stay in a line because I will help it if it thinks it's going to. <laughs> Just saying. Uh, yeah. yeah, I want a thin fine line brush. Well, this one will do. Oops. 
So now what I want to start to do, now's the point where maybe you need to use your brush to create something more. Brush? Not at the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> Because using the brush now, it's still moving. So I'm kind of just giving it a, a push, a nudge. I like the gold leaf effect. Mm -hmm. Now it's it unusual, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh -huh. it's like surprise. Mm -hmm. All right. So now that should be able to move around a little bit mm -hmm. more. So we really break the circle. I'm breaking. Yeah, right, exactly. Well, also I dripped it and it started to have a pattern. I break the pattern. Oh, I love that purple move. Mm -hmm. It's white. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ooh. That's very pretty. Now, this feels solid. Mm -hmm. So. That's white? It's, well, there's, it's basically water in the white to help the blue kind of move. So if something's not moving, mm -hmm. add water. Are you tired? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's good. You see? Just that little bit more water gives it something else to happen. Yeah. All right, I talked about the, the idea of composition. Mm -hmm. And you think, well, abstract, how can you have composition? You, you do because there's the principle of having one third, one third, one third. There's the principle of um, not having something straight in any one direction because if it's straight in any one direction, your eye goes out and says goodbye and never wants to come back. Mm -hmm. right, so you want to give the viewer some place to ponder. Um, and you do that in abstract as much as you do it in any other kind of painting. I'm liking this down here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I might encourage a little more of that. This has got the, go the, the, um, go the gold happening in it. Actually, that's what I did on that one. I had some gold, mm -hmm. but we, I guess we're not going to have gold. I mean, the gold watercolor. Do you want me to find it? It's right there. Yeah. Okay. I'm not sure if I need it this no, time. No, it's, it's... So I want more... Right now, this, does, this feels um, stiff or lack of something. It's kind of interesting, though. Yeah. Yeah. Those separate little islands of dark blue. That, I'm okay with that. Yeah. This is the part that I'm finding isn't moving. So that's the other thing. I think that some of you went back then with your brushes trying to create movement without enough paint. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you have it, it's you randomly dip a little water, because that's my problem. So I'm trying to. All right, so now let's see if we can get a little more movement. Um, not enough. The white actually does a really nice job of mixing and creating. Now, I've got the purple has come down, and it's going to mix in down there. Mm -hmm. And I'm actually going to encourage it. You see what's happening over here? Now it starts to feel somewhat integrated. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. <coughs> That's cool. So things happen with these that you just kind of have to go with the flow. Every pun intended. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now. I really want more water in there. I want more movement. Now, when this connects, then it's going to start to feel whole. Um, integrated again. That was my problem with the area. You see it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. As soon as that connected across, mm -hmm. I felt the integration. Mm -hmm. I'm actually thinking at this point that this is pretty close to being done. Mm. Beautiful. The one thing I want to do is, okay, so I wanted this to happen here. I don't necessarily <coughs> want it to happen over here. So 
So all I'm going to do It's not moving too much as I'm paying attention to this one spot because that's what it does. Okay. I think I'm going to call it a day. Yeah, uh, it's the gorgeous. Edge between the, the colors and the white is just gorgeous. Yeah. The purple and the white there is so pretty, and the blue. Yeah. Right now, and this is coming back. Now, I'm now. As artists, um, we might want to diddle with things a little bit, as you can see me doing. Um, let's have a stick. <coughs> so now I'm going to carefully pull some of the excess that's sitting here on the edges. And I say carefully because you want to keep the board covered. And I don't want this running back in. Mm -hmm. On this side, I like this. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. I like this a lot. Mm. Now I would love to be able to do something. <laughs> All right. So. Again, this is puddled over here. So I'm going to pull some of it off mm -hmm. because I want this to not feel like I created an artificial edge to it. I want it to um, enhance what's going on. And again, you want to be careful, right? You just put a little bit of paper towel here and it'll finish pulling. Now it looks more integrated. So I'm done. Very good.